This is an ultrasound study of the female pelvis. Uh, and uh, first of all, see that the uterus shape, the shape is retroflexed. It's not anti word it has been like this. This is the uterus, the anterior wall, the posterior, this is the endometrial canal, and uh, had you seen my previous video segments, you can easily tell that this endometrial canal is in mid-cycle. And uh, you see, this is uh, the endometrial canal, this bright echogenic non shadowing area in the center of the uterus, near the fundal region. This is the fundus of the uterus. It's central, it's clear. It has two black areas with an edge which is fluid, and this is typical of the mid-cycle uh, endometrial canal. Now, we do see fluid in the pelvic sac. This is the fluid line. This black area is the fluid. And, uh, yeah, this. This is more clear. This is fluid in the cardi sac. And when I go transversely, I see fluid again in the cardi sac, sac pelvic cavity. Now this fluid is post ovulatory fluid. If you see the uh, uterus in mid-cycle with uh, this amount of fluid, very small amount of fluid, this is what is called as post ovulatory fluid. It, it means that the, the follicle has ruptured. Now, this was to show you two things. One, how a endometrial canal appears in mid cycle. Secondly, what is a post ovulatory fluid. Now, you see. This is the endometrial canal in mid-cycle. Here is the fluid. So this is the uh, uterus measuring 6.4 centimeters in length, 2.6 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter, nulliparous uterus. See the endometrial canal in mid in mid-cycle. This is a typical appearance. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus. Myometrium is clear. This is the endometrial canal. These are the black fluid area, central echogenic line, mid-cycle, and this is small amount of fluid. Uh, 